All right, so uh, some of you guys have asked a couple questions about the uh, my rifle setup, and um, one of the ones I came across was about um, the sling setup on the rifle. If uh, an up close look at it, number one. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. So what I did. This is a sling off of Amazon, and I'll post a link to it in the bottom, but it has the metal buckles on it. I think you can see that clearly, right? So it has a bit of elastic to it, and then just the buckle adjustments. But what I did was I took a piece of one inch non-tubular webbing with a couple Fastex, or, um, Fastex buckles, um, a D-ring and a tri-glide. The tri-glide is for locking out the webbing, and then the D-ring was for an attachment point for the clip. And then I did the exact same thing on the other side, up on uh, the foregrip here. So what I did here was, in the stock itself, you can see those holes where it's vented. So I just fed another piece of one inch flat webbing through that, another tri-glide, and then I ran out of plastic D-ring, so I just went straight through the webbing itself, as you can see there, okay? So, I spaced it apart. I like having the sling mounts on, I have this on my other rifles, I like having it right behind the handguard and then middle of the foregrip there. So when you are, when you do have it on, it keeps it across your body. Let's step away so you can see that. Okay. So it keeps it across your body there, keeps your shoulder, the buttstock, even with your shoulder, so if you do have to quickly, you know, whether you have it at low ready, high ready, you know, it's a quick, easy adjustment there. So it literally, it's almost like a pivot, where it literally pivots right into the shoulder off the sling. So it keeps it in place. But I think one of the keys to that is this little bit of elastic. You can see some of the other high-end slings out there have the adjustment piece to it for, you know, pulling down as you reach down to grab the front of your rifle, bring it up. Um, this is a cheap Amazon sling, but I like them. I've been using them for years, have them on a bunch of different guns. I like them a lot, but it keeps everything in place on that. So that was the way that that setup worked. Um, another question I got asked, um, once or twice was about the, um, the flashlights. I had somebody asking a lot of questions about the flashlight. And, um, once again, it's another Amazon, I think it's UTG. Um, UTG does a lot of great simple accessory products, like as far as, you know, the um, dovetail to Picatinny um, rail mount that I have the red dot on. Um, works out really nice. You can see there for that. They're nice and steady. Um, allows you to get that red dot or your sight a bit more forward. Um, it does bring it up over in a little bit higher bore height there, which... You know, at longer distances, obviously, that's going to play a, uh, a big role there. But on this specific gun, I'm not going to be shooting it out past 200 yards, that's for sure. So more likely um, uh, 25 to 75 yards for most things. Um, but anyway, so that, that works out good there, too. Um, another UTG mount here. Um, I, have an, I have a 45-degree mount on that. Here, here we go. Um, for that. And then that way it helps get up, uh, puts it up a little bit higher. So when you're holding the rifle, it puts that, puts the thumb switch at a more natural spot. Whether it's there, there. So it's much more natural of a position there. Um, other guys are going to put a pressure, pressure switch on there. Whether they're going to do it on top or they're going to do it over here for their, fing for their other fingers totally personal preference here. I'm just working off of what the rifle has as far as accessory mounts on it. And then flashlight. Um, I did switch up flashlights uh, here just recently. Ended up going with the WildTac A7 on it. It's a whole lot brighter than my old one. It ha It's a little bit longer, a little bit more durable, and it's rechargeable. So I've, um, I'm switching out all my lights to rechargeable lights. I think that's going to be a uh, maybe a big deal down the road, but also it, it simplifies things in the field for being able to charge things off of um, off of a solar charger or a power bank, um, anything that's USB uh, capable there. Um, so you know, in this case here, it actually runs off the same batteries as the uh, Olight Batten 
um, and Batten Pro. So that is um, it's a nice little deal there. So anyways, so I hope that answers a couple of those questions that some of you guys have had. Um, the other question I've been getting a lot on is the barrel shroud. Uh, guys, I made the barrel shroud, plain and simple. It's a piece of PVC plastic. There's a nut on there. You can see, once again, PVC plastic. The barrel extends all the way throughout. You can see in the front, there's the end of my PVC. It's another insert, you know, from the from pl plumbing supply uh, place. I think I went to Home Depot to get mine. And then I actually took an old cheapy dollar store flashlight and um, inserted that in there just to give it a little bit more body. But um, that was really simple. So there's no baffles or anything like that inside. It is not a silencer. It is not a, uh, it is not a can. It is a barrel shroud. Um, and then I just took an old pair of pants for the canvas and uh, cut it, sewed it. I actually have a uh, beer, beer koozie. You know, the, um, the light neoprene or whatever, it's lined with that inside. And then I took some paracord and a cord lock and strapped that on there. You can see the grommets that I put on it. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Grommets there. But, um, but yeah, in fact, I normally can't get this off. It's a pretty tight, pretty tight fit there. But, yeah. Well, here. Nope, it's not going to come off right now. So it's cold, so the plastic is seized up there. But nor it's threaded with a male-female insert, so normally you can just unscrew it, pops right off. But right now it's just spinning on there because of the cold. But um, but yeah, that's it. So sights were removed on the rifle. You can see where the screw holes were. There's another screw hole up underneath here. But um, anyways, I hope that uh, that uh, helps answer some of your guys' questions. On, um, that you guys asked about the rifle there. Uh, nothing fancy, just a home build project, and uh, yeah, that's it, gang. So thanks for uh, your guys' questions. That was a really popular video, that last one. Um, I kind of uh, got a kick out of that. You guys, uh, you guys all really enjoyed it. So uh, I thought the rifle was cool. You guys thought it was cool. So um, it was an idea that I had, and it just kind of um, grew and grew and grew into uh, into that. So, anyways. That's it, gang. Thanks for watching. So, um, keep training, keep working hard, and um, keep your heads up, all right? Talk to you guys later. Thanks.